Vision on TV, and um, we're here with another stall at the Mozilla Festival, and um, can you tell us what your stall's about? Absolutely. So we're uh, the Center for Civic Media, which is a research group at the MIT Media Lab over in Boston. Right. Lots of interesting things have come out of there. Absolutely. Uh, and this is hopefully one of them. I, I, I think so, anyway. And we're trying to create a visualization for the way people consume the news. So it's called Media RDI, RDI being recommended daily intake. And it's analogous to the way nutrition labels appear on food. So we're trying to parse what media is about. So news articles, is it about international coverage? Is it a national story? Is it sports? Is it technology? Is it a conservative perspective or a liberal perspective? Uh, and then after aggregating all of that... How do you capture the data? How do you capture the data? So one of the things where... Ex- that's one thing we're exploring. We're using... Uh, we're exploring Mechanical Turk and sort of using people to... Uh, on micropayments to sort of read paragraphs and, and say this is about... Bolivia. This right. is about uh, technology. This is about healthcare. Um, so this this will be done with random people around the web, and you just have a website and say you can have a micro payment if you read this story and tell us what you think. Right. Or... So so there, I can't say that is exa- That's what it is because it's not been built yet. So that is one thing we're exploring. Uh, we're also hoping to try to use some natural language processing and machine learning to maybe seed it with that, and then eventually have algorithms do some sort of estimation. So you're not going to strap people into chairs and t- tie no. lasers to their heads and, you know... Absolutely not, no. It, <laughs> all humane, all healthy. Um, but the end result is hopefully going to be a system where you as a media consumer can understand what you're reading. So maybe you read 80%, maybe 80% of the stuff you read is about sports, but you don't know that. And maybe you would like to learn a little bit more about what's going on in Africa. This will help you track that intake over time. And how, how are you going to present the information? To the, how are you going to present the output to people so it's meaningful? You are asking all the right questions. So that's the second very tricky thing to do. And one of the things that we've asked visitors here uh, is to help us uh, understand how they would want to visualize their content. So we're in the process. This is a very young project. It started a couple months ago. So we're in the process of designing that um, using inspiration from the across the world nutrition labels for food there are lots of different types of visualizations for that um you know charts over time because we unlike food this is a time-based sort of uh ecosystem so w- there's one the one thing that you started the shot on was one example of a visualization of the new york times over time how have they covered international world so you can other. so you can cover you so you could basically should turn into a, into a color map of the different subjects, different categories, etc. Yep. Okay, um, so how can people find out more, more information about this project? So we, uh, we have website civic.media.mit.edu, which has plenty of blogs. There's also over there mediadiet.me is, uh, is the info site for our project. Okay, I, li- I like the food metaphor. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Yep, thank you. Okay, um, coming up on Vision on TV, something else probably to do with food because I'm starting to get hungry.